start with cutting up the soaps that we made with my friend and these are soaps from scratch so I will share more on that in one of the video how to make that but for now I need to get this off of my countertop <laughs> Making soap was so much fun and we used even tea, so the Maui mango tea that I keep recommending to you guys, <laughs> we just grind it up and put it in there and it's, it smells amazing. So we tried different things, whatever we find in the pantry <laughs> and my friend had some flowers from her garden that she dried and we just put this on the top. We love to eat oatmeal as a snack and I like to dress it up a little bit more for the holidays <laughs> and just give them a different taste as well. So I'm going to use a few different toppings starting with the homemade peanut butter and I'm going to add some banana slices and chia seeds. So this is the basic <laughs> and then I'm going to add some maple syrup as well and the more fun is beginning with the cherry powder that I'm going to add to the top so I have a few that I really like and the pitaya powder I love the color of it but this raspberry one that taste is amazing so I'm going to add some more um, honey to it and then I'm going to use this fun little itty bitty flowers that are dried and you can make some tea out of it or you can just decorate your food with that and this is another fun thing it's just a dried passion fruit but it has this gold color and it's just so shiny and sparkly So for next, I am going to prepare some gluten-free bread and the recipe is so easy. I find this super basic recipe which I will put down below in the description box where I find it. I adjusted just a tiny bit and I will write down what I changed with that recipe just to suit for our diet and just, you know, just regular <laughs> to our taste. But um, it's been amazing it's so amazing that we started to eat way too much bread like we had like four loaf in 24 hours like this one is constantly going <laughs> I used to have a bread maker machine but when we started the gluten-free diet I thought it's gonna be way too complicated it it wasn't that many options with the bread maker machines and it was a hand-me-down from somebody so it was on its last leg so when it gave in I just never replaced that one but now I have more space so I did buy one which is not a huge size but it's pretty amazing and I read that it has a ceramic coat on it and it has a gluten free option as well so just with the dehydrator I'm going down on the rabbit hole with that so I'm going to start to prepare that bread recipe because we need some bread it's just so delicious like there's no way we're gonna go back to the store bought one i mean it is really yummy too but this one wants to taste the fresh bread <laughs> there's nothing like us everything was going smooth until i discovered i used a wrong measuring cup yeah but i fixed that <laughs> i'm going to add some honey some eggs and I'm going to add some flowers. You can find the recipe down below in the description box. I will link it to you. And then if you have something that you drop in the eggs, the best way to scoop it out, it's not the spoon, it just use the egg shell. That's the best solution for that.
first week I had a few occasions when I had to bake some things so I'm going to do the same thing today because I'm gonna have an appointment later on I'm gonna see my nutritional therapist but also she's my friend as well so I thought I'm going to create this cookie for her cookie well it's kind of like a muffin thing and basically what I want to share with you is how to simplify recipes is if you have a staple muffin recipe that you love you can just change around the spices so I have a basic muffin and I just added a bunch of pumpkin spice to it and I added a lots of honey and the reason I added honey because honey makes everything burn faster so it make it more makes it more crispy and that was my goal with this one Basically the same idea applies to the cleaners, you can just change it around with some essential oils so you can get the result that you want. If you want more Christmassy you can use some tangerine oil or some cinnamon oil. It depends on what you like but you can just play with that exactly the same way as with the spices in the recipes. I have mentioned this washcloth many times in the previous videos and you can find the link to it down below in the description box the other reason I like to use this one that you can save dish soap with that because instead of uh, absorbing all the soap it makes it foamy So this is how I like to organize the eggs in the refrigerator so mostly I keep them in the pantry but once I'm out of the eggs from the refrigerator I just wash uh, one basket of it and I have three of these long boxes and they work like a drawer and I just keep the other ones on the left and as we going towards the right side those are the fresher eggs and I have the little houses done and now the fun part is coming just putting some monk fruit on the top Back in the q and I've got some questions how we celebrate things if there's any difference between how we celebrate Christmas and of course we have a few things that we added to the holidays over here and that would be the Saint Nicholas Day we still celebrate that even though my kids are old enough but I know the little sweets will make them happy and this is kind of our stocking so as if you noticed we don't have any stockings above the fireplace because this is our way of stocking <laughs> Joat is bringing in the material that we are going to use for the barn door that he's going to make and this wood is something that he processed so we have all those dead trees there so we started to process them and they are cutting up some firewood as well About what's happened to me from July 
the way how we decorate the Christmas tree we just add a little bit uh, I wouldn't say every single day but most of the days we work on it step by step and we I also like to make some sweets that we can hang on to the trees and the kids are looking forward to that every single year so I'm making some candy and some pretzels you name it we will have it on this tree <laughs> This year I didn't have enough parsley from my garden so I still buying it from the store hopefully next year <laughs> I will be able to have more but I bought some from the store and you can do the same if even if you don't have a garden you can just buy some fresh parsley and the reason I like to dry that because they go bad very quickly so sometimes I freeze them but I like to have on hand some dried one as well and also it's a great gift idea if you want to surprise somebody for Christmas if you know somebody likes to cook I have some friends and neighbors that I know they are going to appreciate these handmade soaps. No matter what you're going to give as a present, but if you put some effort into the wrapping, and I'm talking about like the most simple paper that is exist out there, this brown paper bag, but if you add a little bit of greenery to it, or just a little bit of an ornament, it will show you care very much so it doesn't matter how small is that present is the way you presenting it and how you give it to that person will count It is the next day so the parsley is dry so now it's going to be easier to remove all the leaves I'm using a silicone mat because afterwards it's going to be easier to transfer everything into a jar wow you just have to look into the direction not like I did <laughs> I was looking into the camera if everything was visible on the screen <laughs> but but I swear it works <laughs>
thank you so much watching until the end if you enjoy this content don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends or family thank you guys for watching and i will see you soon bye